The State of Crypto is presented by Tron, connecting the world to the power of cryptocurrency. So our top story of the day, well, several tokens held by Sam Bankman frieds and battled trading unit Alameda Research were sold late on Wednesday to the tune of millions of dollars. Joining us now with more is Coinesk Gold Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coinesk's The State of Crypto newsletter. Nick, thanks for joining us this morning. So almost $2 million worth of tokens from Alameda linked wallets were sold in the open market over a span of several hours on Wednesday, according to Crypto Sleuths over at Arkham Intelligence. What's going on here? Hey, good morning. Yeah, so based on data, uh, or at least data matching from overnight, it looks like a lot of these crypto tokens were basically first converted into either USDT, Tether to Stablecoin, or Bitcoin. Uh, as well as being consolidated into a limited number of wallets. Um, There seem to be a couple possible explanations for this. I was looking through uh, PACER, which is the federal court uh, database system uh, just now, and I haven't seen anything specific to these particular transactions, but it seems reasonable to assume that one of the explanations is that Alameda is just trying to consolidate all of its assets into something it can easily liquidate, and uh, more easily control, right? Uh, Alameda is, of course, one of the bankrupt companies in the FTX empire. And, um, you know, we've heard from FTX's new leadership that they are you know, trying to do their best to just, you know, uh, figure out what they have in terms of assets. Uh, the other explanation is that they've been hacked again. Um, we haven't seen anything to suggest either explanation is more accurate at this point. There haven't been, as far as I can tell, any public statements from Alameda's new leadership or from FTX's leadership. Uh, we haven't seen you know, anything in the form of court orders, no kind of you know, declaratory statements, uh, or even complaints at this point pertaining to these specific transactions. So it's kind of weird, though, that they went into Tether. Uh, as opposed to USDC or um, straight into Bitcoin. It's sort of like they took an extra step there. Uh, we don't quite know why, correct? Right. You know, the other aspect might just be that Alameda, of course, was headquartered in Bahamas, and some of these assets and wallets might just be on exchanges or on platforms that, you know, Tether was the easier asset to exchange into. But again, this is one of those situations where you know, it, yeah. things are happening and no one's explaining why. Yeah, I, and, I mean, one would think that they would go to dollar, they would go to, from Tether and then redeem those Tether for dollars. But hey, who am I? Are the liquidators the same as at, over at FTX Group? So the way it's kind of structured right now is uh, Alameda has uh, a new boss appointed by the FTX uh, leadership. So there's the Bahamas liquidation process, which is the uh, their you know their equivalent of a bankruptcy process, uh, not one to one equivalent, but very similar. They have also the U.S. bankruptcy process, and there's been this jurisdictional fight between the two uh, groups, kind of trying to you know assert their claims over the other. But we don't have any uh, you know real clarity at this point as to who's coming out on top. It sure looks like the U.S. liquidate uh, the U.S. bankruptcy folks are you know, trying to do their best to take over this entire process, despite the uh, claims and you know actions of the Bahamas liquidators. 